Hello, Good Tide Loose Podcast. Was I a good teammate? One of the things that I've been really working on is to really grow and develop beyond what I think I should, how I should grow and develop. Uh, I really want to show up as loving and kind, show kindness everywhere I go to give people grace. And I also want to show up as my best. And to do that, one of the things I learned early on uh, in my well-being practice is that I have a lot of blind spots that I don't see. And even when I think of that I am showing up as my best, other people may see it differently. And, you know, there's some people that maybe them seeing differently is, you know, uh, not objective. But a lot of times it can be if you are having people be your accountability partners that have a well-being practice that are also working on themselves. And one of the things that has helped me the most in these accountability partners is seeking targeted feedback from them. So one of the examples that I've used in a previous podcasts that can be extended to other areas of, of my life and, and perhaps your life is the pickleball court for me. And in the pickleball court, I found myself being really obsessed over time with winning and hitting the perfect shot or being in the right place and, uh, and executing the right skill. And if I did that, it was a success. And if my partner did it, we were a success. But if I failed, I was hard on myself. And if my partner failed, I was hard on them. And if we lost, I was distraught about it. How uh, hitting the shots as well as winning or losing are so secondary to a person who's really working on themselves to show up their best everywhere they go that they're not even worth mentioning. That's not where the focus should be. Where the focus for me has become is how am I showing up? Not only do I have the skill, uh, which is to me secondary, it is how am I applying the skill? What is the art of the way in which I'm doing it? Am I doing it in a way that sets me up for success beyond hitting the correct shot? Am I doing it in a way that sets my partner up for a better shot next time? And what I found was, is how do I stop making the actual shot, the primary thing, but who I'm being is I take the shot. And what I found was is targeted feedback formed in a question. And the question is, was I a good teammate? I want to lead the court every time with my partner. And before I grade my play or even think about assessing my partner's play, I want to ask the question, was I a good teammate? I want to ask myself that question. And I also want my partner to answer the question. When I started doing that with my friend, Julie, it transformed how I started to show up on the court. It started making that the priority. And I, we had more fun. Uh, I was, was able to handle things better. Now, it didn't happen overnight. It took some time. But what I saw was I saw the experience become much more enjoyable. And uh, and my partner certainly had a better had a better time, too, because Keith 1.0 wasn't on the court with them. Now, this can be taken beyond the court and it can be taken into your life. So if you're in a relationship, you want to ask yourself, was I a good partner today? And that last interaction that we had, was I a good partner in their interaction? Now, you now you got to be careful because the mind will say that you were justified in your behavior and that you were a good partner. Go back to the other person and ask them, were you a good partner? Ask them that question. 
you know, I also work at Mayo Clinic. And one of the things I asked myself at the end of the day was, was I a good colleague today? If you are a patient, a person who manages people, you know, ask yourself, was I a good manager? Was I a good leader today? And the leader is one that leads himself, leads others, but also inspires others. What other people find that your behavior was it inspiring. If you're a surgeon, I'm very fortunate to work with a lot of surgeons at Mayo Clinic and to know them. Would your team say that you were a good colleague in the OR? Not a great, not a good surgeon, because you can do that. You can still take care of the patient to the best of your ability. You can still save a life or improve the quality of life while adversely affecting everyone on the team with your behavior and how you talk to them or how you show up with your energy and your uh, affect. But what if at the end of every surgery, you ask the team, was I a good teammate today? You know, did I honor you? Did you feel valued today? Did you feel included? Did you feel respected? And most importantly, did you feel safe today in this space? Like those are great questions to ask. So take this to the rest of your life and seek targeted feedback. Tell people what you're up to. Like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm up to playing a bigger game. I'm up to not taking things personal, making it about me. If there's a problem that shows up in our interaction or at doing a certain activity or event, I want to be able to handle that. And I need your help. And the help that I need is, is to give me feedback about how I showed up. And, and, and I want you to be honest. You have permission to be completely honest with me so that we can both win. So I encourage you to start using that. Was I a good teammate today? Mm -hmm.